Hello, welcome back to my channel, Childish Lessons. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make word searches and crosswords in seconds. Word searches are a great way to practice spelling of new vocabulary and also a great way to keep students occupied, especially younger students. I often use them in the classroom whenever we finish the activities earlier than expected and I need to keep some students occupied or what we call fast finishes with another task while I attend to other students in the classroom. Crosswords are also a great activity for language learners. It's a good way to test students' understanding of synonyms, for example, example, or also how we paraphrase in English. And one of the crosswords I'm going to show you in this video is called a communicative crossword, and it's how you get students speaking using a crossword. To make these crosswords and word searches, we're going to be using Canva. If you haven't used Canva before, then what are you doing? Go check out my playlist, which is right up in the corner now, where you can see videos about Canva's presentation tools, about its whiteboards, and also how to build worksheets. And we're going to be using work sheets in this video. So here I am on Canva. I've got my profile open and I'm going to go to create a worksheet. Now the quickest way to do this is go to the top and search for worksheet. Now this is the important part. Go to the left hand side and go scroll down to apps and then we're going to go to activities maker. So type in activities maker and it should come up as the first one on the left. If it doesn't, then maybe it's not available where you are. And once we have it open, we've got an option to make a word search, a crossword, or a maze. We're gonna start with word searches. And so in each word search and crossword, we can either create our own lists or we can use ready-made lists. So for the ready-made list, we've got wild animals, farm animals, countries, foods, colors, and hobbies. And once you click generate, the in this case, the word search is gonna appear in the center of my design. If we just take the first one and move it, you can see here, I've got two objects. I've got one that shows us the answers and I've got one that doesn't. That's ready to go. So we just go to share in the top right hand corner and go to download and then we're gonna download it as a PDF, which means that we can print it. If you're working on Google Classroom, then that would be a great platform to share PDFs. If you don't use Google Classroom, then go check out this video right up above me, which is a tutorial for teachers like you on how to use Google Classroom. If you did wanna make your own custom word list for your own word search, then it's really easy to do. All you need to do is again, go to left-hand side and then click custom word list. And what you're gonna do is just pop the words in a list, each word separated by a comma, and then it will make a word search for you. The next thing I wanna show you is how to make crosswords. So again, we go to the same place, Activities Maker, and instead of word searches, we just go across to crosswords. And the way this works is again, we have these word lists already created for us, or we can make our custom word list. So for example, if I go to countries, I'm gonna to go to generate, this is giving us a maximum number of words. So again, I can go up all the way to 25. I'm gonna to go to 10, just a nice round number. Go to generate, and you can see here in the center of my design, it's now generated the crossword. So you can see here, I have all the elements that I need. So I have the answers, I have the crossword that's empty, and I have the clues for across and down. And so again, like the word search, I would just need to make some more pages and just separate this. So I could pop this empty crossword down here, take these clues again and bring them down to the next page. And on the first page, I've got the answers, which is for the teacher. If I did wanna make my own custom crossword, I can do that too. And so it's just really simple. All I need to do is follow this format. So you can see here, it's already explained it for me. I need to have the word followed by a comma, followed by the clue. So what I wanna show you now is something called a communicative crossword or half a crossword. And it's really simple to set up. So again, we've got our crossword generated. We've got our answers for the teacher and we've got our clues and the empty crossword. So I'm just gonna make a page here and just add these to the next page by dragging them down like this. And then the next step is to duplicate the second page. So the page with the clues and the empty crossword on. So we're gonna to go to this button here, there's a duplicate page. And what I need to do is delete the clues from one page and the other set of clues from the other page. So for example, I'm gonna delete these 
and then delete these. So what I've got here is student A and student B, or let's say group A and group B. And the first activity you're going to do is you're going to ask group A or student A to complete the crossword with the words, with the clues that they have. So this student has the clues for the across words, so they're only going to complete the across words using the clues given. And student B or group A is going to complete their crossword with the clue for the words that are down. So what happens now? Well, very simple. It's a speaking and listening activity. So one student takes charge of having to describe the words the other student is missing. So for example, student A is missing word number three. And student B has word number three already completed, which the clue is to spend time idly in a place. Now, the student B can use this clue and just read this exactly as it is, or they can think of other ways to describe this word. And this is where this activity really comes into its own, because you can really encourage your students to think outside the box or use other language to describe words. If you like the look of these crosswords and you'd like to try out this communicative crossword activity in your classroom, but you don't have the time to make your own, then don't worry, I've got you covered. I've put together a series of communicative crosswords for various levels and various topics that you can take into your class today. All you need to do is check out the link in the description. Thank you for watching this video on how to make crosswords and word searches in Canva for your students. I'll see you in the next video.